Documents in Onshape enable you to work with parts, assemblies, and drawings, all within a single workspace. And that, combined with the multi-part functionality in Part Studios, opens the door to a wide variety of design techniques and workflows. Let's take a look at a quick example using some top-down and bottom-up design techniques, all within this single document. A new Onshape document contains a Part Studio tab and an Assembly tab, and as you may expect, you can create as many tabs as you need. The workflow in Onshape is simple. You create all of your geometry within Part Studios, and when you're ready to add motion or bring parts or subassemblies together from other tabs, you do so in an assembly. A Part Studio can contain as many parts as you'd like it to. In other words, you're not limited to a single part per Part Studio. This lets you easily design additional components and create the in-context relationships between them. For instance, I can start a new sketch on this face. I'll select these four circular edges and click the Use icon to convert them into sketch geometry. Next, I'll sketch some lines to connect them and trim away the unnecessary geometry. For the sake of time, I won't bother fully defining this sketch. I just want to create the rough shape I'll need and can come back to add dimensions later. Once I have the profile roughed in, I'll create the extrude feature. I'll choose the new option so that this extrude will result in a new part. I'll extrude this a quarter of an inch. Once the preview looks the way I want, I'll click the check and the new part is created and added to the tree. Let me quickly give this part a more descriptive name. I'll right click the part in the tree and select Rename. I'll change the name to Bracket and click the green check. You can continue creating as many additional parts as you need. For instance, I can mirror this part about front plane. This multi part workflow is intuitive and expected in Onshape. Next, I'll switch over to the Assembly tab and insert these parts into it. I'll click the Insert Parts and Assemblies icon and select the entire part studio. When I click the check, the parts are inserted. While in the part studio, these parts were more or less fixed relative to one another, but now that they're in an assembly, I can simply click and drag them to move them if I'd like. I'll click Undo. I could now add mates to create motion between the parts, but instead, I'd like to keep these grouped together as is, so I'll select them all and click the Group icon. When I click and drag them, they move as a unit. As I mentioned earlier, assemblies are also used to bring items from separate tabs together. This damper model was designed by a colleague in its own part studio. And if I switch over to this other tab here, you can see there's a damper subassembly created as well. This already has some group and slider mates added to control the motion of the piston. So not only can you insert multiple part studios into the main assembly, but you can work with subassemblies if you'd like as well. I'll go back to the main assembly, click the insert icon, select assemblies, and insert this damper subassembly. I can add a revolute mate to join it to the linkage parts. As you would expect, any changes I make to items in their part studios will propagate here to the assembly. I can go into the linkage part studio for the bracket I added a few moments ago, roll back before the mirror, and create a fillet on the outside face. Then I'll roll forward to the end, and when I switch back to the assembly tab, you can see the fillets added there too. Onshape also allows you to upload any type of file you can imagine into a document, which is useful since a typical project can often require a large collection of documents, ranging from marketing materials, manufacturing specifications, supplier quotes, and so on. You can store and work on those files within this single document.
I have a SOLIDWORKS part file for a fastener that was provided to me by a supplier. I'll click the plus sign to add a new tab to this document and click Upload. I'll browse for the file and upload it, and you can see a new tab is added right here at the bottom. I'll translate the fastener into an Onshape Part Studio. and then insert two instances into the assembly. From here, I could go on adding mates to position them. The single document concept in Onshape lets you easily switch between using a bottom-up assembly design approach like this. You accomplish all of your modeling and designing in the Part Studio environment, and then when you're ready to bring things together from other tabs or add motion and interaction between your parts, you can then bring them into the assembly and create the appropriate mates. Onshape makes it very intuitive, whether you're using top-down methods with a multi-part workflow, bottom-up methods by combining separate part studios together in an assembly, or importing CAD files from other traditional systems.